Now we're going to go over the summit piece by piece. With me in studio is Chung Dezin, a research fellow at Aju Institute of Unification, for his take on what he thought about the summit between the two leaders yesterday. Thank you for joining us today. Yeah, thank you. My pleasure. Now let's just get right ahead. Indeed, what an unusual summit we witnessed. We normally don't see two leaders uh, side by side. And uh, given that the two countries are still technically in the state of war, and the two sure. leaders uh, had multiple rounds of summit that resulted at around five hours of talks in total. Uh, but a lot of questions are being raised about that joint declaration that they signed off before they parted. What's your take on the summit? Uh, first of all, I think the history was made, but we should wait, uh, wait for the, the historic produce. The historic produce was not made uh, from the yesterday's de declaration. Uh, normally, the summit declaration does not cover uh, concrete and, and, and keywords or mm -hmm. uh, some details, but, uh, but some but important keywords should be contained on the a summit declaration. But Something like the CBID, yes, like many yes, have yes, been yes. anticipating. Yeah, but yesterday's declaration does not contain any keywords or mm -hmm. some concrete date of the CBID or CBIZ. Mm. It, it, was, it, it just showed us some roadmap and brighter future mm -hmm. uh, for the US DPRK relations and on the Korean Peninsula, but it was not uh, expli explicitly write down the date or some uh, concrete details of the plan. Mm. Yeah. I mean, we don't want to go ahead of ourselves and call each other's names, but the joint declaration was, of course, signed by both parties, showing the craftiness and hardline approach that North Korea had been pushing towards for the summit. And Trump seemed overly confident even before, during, and even after the summit. If you were to uh, assess the two, uh, two parties involved, uh, who's going home happier? Yeah, it's a very difficult question, but I think the um, Chairman Kim was the winner of the yesterday's summit. Yeah, Based on the joint declaration you're yes, saying? Yes, because uh, before his departure from Pyongyang, uh, the uh, NK news media released uh, their goals and aims of the summit. Mm -hmm. The first one was the establishing a new relations between U.S. and DPRK, DPRK and U.S. Mm -hmm. And then the second one is the eternal peace and um, prosperity of the Korean on the Korean Peninsula, mm -hmm. and the third one was the denuclearization. And uh, yesterday's Santosa uh, summit declaration contains that flow, mm -hmm. and just follow that flow as same as the NK media released before uh, Chairman Kim's departure from Pyongyang. Mm -hmm. The first one was the uh, establishment of new relationship between U.S. and DPRK, right. and second one is the, the peace regime, mm -hmm. and third one is the. Uh, the denuclearization, mm -hmm. and the fourth one is the remaining one, as right. a, the additional one. And then, I think the um, Chairman Kim's uh, idea and goals are reflected on the uh, declaration and then process of negotiation. Not much from the Trump side, you would say. Yeah, I think uh, I I hope the Trump side had a much broader uh, approach, so he didn't. Uh, may, I, think, I think that the President Trump may yield this time for the Chairman Kim um, to invite him to the international community and, uh, and the further steps for negotiation. But uh, the, from the U.S. perspective, mm -hmm. uh, it was very, uh, it was very, um, some, some say, some could say it's meaningless or it's a But piece in of a yes. symbolic yeah. manner, it's a great yes. symbolic first historic summit yes. between the sitting leaders of the North Korea and the U.S. Y so yes. in that term, maybe a takeaway for U.S. president? Yes, that's why I, that's why I said that uh, the history was made, but we should wait for the history uh, produced. The history produced should be uh, released from, from now on, I mm -hmm. think. Yeah. I hope every steps will be begin again, and then the new, new sign and the new beginning of the U.S. DPRK relationship will go on. Yeah. 
We've said this before, something clear missing from that joint agreement is mm. the warning that we've been practicing multiple times, the CVID complete mm. verification and irreversible dismantlement of the, denu uh, the, the nuclear program in North Korea. Uh, let's take it back to that post-summit press conference, if okay. we will, uh, where President Trump expressed his confidence mm. in his North Korean counterpart, Kim Jong-un. told me that North Korea is already destroying a major missile engine testing site. That's not in your signed document. We agreed to that after the agreement was signed. That's a big thing for the missiles that they were testing. The site is going to be destroyed very soon. Now, there we see President Trump again being very confident about what he had discussed with North Korean leader Kim. Is it safe to say, although it's not written on paper or that joint agreement, is it safe to be trusting North Korea in this with that verbal discussion that they had? Because none of the important stuff that a lot of the press took on from that summit, uh, summit uh, press briefing afterwards yes, yes. was not included on the joint uh, yes, agreement. Is yes. that safe enough? Is that good enough? Not good enough from U.S. perspective and even for a rock perspective because the uh, missile engine testing site was being halted and, and then it was the destroyed uh, in the destroying, destroying process is being made mm -hmm. in the past and all. It's, a, it's nothing new. Yeah. And then the, the, they said that, that's a, they said that uh, the missile, the missile uh, will launch it from the tail, a transporter reactor right. launcher. Yeah, but it's, it's, it is something meaningless to destroy the, some missile testing site. At but the, at the same time, a lot yeah. of the experts yeah. are saying it, like you yes, like yourself. Yes. It's there's not much meaning to it. It's there's too little to say that uh, we, you know this is. A, too small of an, an intangible outcome that we're seeing. But we're speaking in a different set of situation here. A couple months ago, just last month, North Korea invited a set of journalists to, to watch and, and you know, nuclear, report nuclear on site, the yeah. dismantlement of its yes. Punggye nuclear test yes, site. Right. So that and all the other uh, developments that we've been seeing on the Korean peninsula, wouldn't we be saying something different given the different situation now? But it was the first time for the President Trump and Chairman Kim meet face on face. Mm -hmm. uh, that's the meaning of the, some um, promises, to make a promise with a one-on-one -on -one meeting. Mm -hmm. yeah? and that's the uh, meaning and that's the important and historic uh, pro promise from verbal promise. Uh, but we cannot verify or identify or some could somebody, no, nobody, can, nobody can guarantee that promise in the future. So uh, the, in the nuclear dismantlement follow the process and the report and then verification. But verification uh, has not yet uh, fully uh, implemented in mm -hmm. the past. Uh, that will be the very uh, big issues on the upcoming negotiations. So uh, although there is not much uh, being put on paper this time, we could at the same time see this as a movement towards that uh, yes. direction as to where the world has been Just you know, a demanding. Point, yeah. Yes, yeah. so a direction forward in that, yes, in that yeah. sense. And uh, like you've mentioned earlier this morning, we learned that North Korean leader Kim Jong-un had demanded U.S. President Trump to suspend the joint military drills that's been going on, uh, an, an annual practice that we see between South Korea and the U.S. And Trump said he's ending what he calls war games in the region, seemingly to take up on that promise that he had with North Korean leader. What do you make of that? Can that be seen as a step forward in ending some decades-long war on the Korean Peninsula? It was, it was also nothing new proposal from DPRK side. And then even last year, China and DPRK suggested that as a double suspension, mm -hmm. the suspension of a military exercise of Seoul and Pyongyang in exchange for the halting uh, new, new North Korea's uh, provocations. It was nothing new proposals. So, so. But I wonder why President Trump uh, admit that mm -hmm. uh, proposals at the declaration. Why would that be? Yeah, I'm not sure at this point, but uh, there will be, I hope Tr President Trump will have, have another card or some another tactics for the futures. Mm -hmm just like to, to 
um, keep going to, to make the negotiations keep going on or some to invite uh, the North Korea mm -hmm. on the table. Uh, so, so for, for promising for a more talks between yeah, the two sides. Yeah, more signs. talks, yeah. But it is different from the, in the past. The, in the past, the North, Korea, uh, North Korea's nuclear problem has been dealt uh, in, under the frame of the bottom-up process mm -hmm. from the working level mm -hmm. in the past, in the 25 years. But this, but this, time, is, this time is the, the kick-off and the start of the uh, top-down right. process. From both ends, from U.S. President Donald Trump and North Korean leader too. Yes. So perhaps we could see some different outcome coming out of this end? Yeah, this, the, the different outcome is the, just the, the uh, U.S. and DP, DPRK joint declaration is the very, very different and the very historic outcome. Right. Yeah, but I think uh, you know, we should uh, see some historic produce will be made or not. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we, we are now facing the uh, totally different um, imp totally different um, structure and to, t to with deal the with the leaders, North Korea right. nuclear problem. Yeah. And I'm not sure if you also saw that video clip that played right before U.S. President Donald Trump uh, made it In to the media podium. center. Uh, the, yes, yeah. and that video clip was made by U.S. government, and it shows how North Korea and how North Korea could change if the regime <laughs> opens itself up to the U.S. and possibly to the world. Is that a threat? We, we've seen Trump talk about even a real estate business in North Korea, given that his background as a real estate uh, a negotiator. Uh, but what kind of an impact would the Western influence have on the North Korean regime? Yeah, North Korea cannot, uh, cannot help avoiding the, the Western influence on that uh, country. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, North Korea, I think North Korea should prepare and will prepare very well for the ex acquisition vaccination for the people. Mm -hmm. yeah, and, then, and then North Korea released the, uh, released the news of the, the, the past Singapore summit Mm -hmm. Very quickly, after, af in normally after the summit, the North Korea news, North Korea news media released the news. Right af so yeah, after, so after past, the yeah. entire summit yeah, yeah, ends yeah. up, that's when they report. Yeah, but yeah, but the, at this time, at this point, in North Korea news, North Korea news media released the news very quickly, mm -hmm. and then and then show, showed us some landscape of Singapore. Right. Yeah. So, uh, it was, it was also some vaccination for the people. Mm -hmm. It was some preparation uh, for the uh, regimes and uh, for the peoples. Yeah. And I want to go to that Pompeo who's flying over to South mm -hmm. Korea today at around uh, later this evening for talks with South mm -hmm. Korean President Moon Jae-in a day after his leader held a summit with North Korean leader as well as to have some uh, dialogue with his South Korean and Japanese counterparts on that uh, foreign minister's level talks. Something seen as a post-summit diplomacy, what can we expect? I mean, we are already seeing a working level talks amongst the regional players right after the summit. How, this, how could this play into the result and the outcome of the bilateral summit between the two leaders? Yeah, I think we should prepare some bold and audacious uh, preparation as, uh, regarding the money. Mm. As, uh, uh, I, th I believe President Trump would not like, like, would, would not like to uh, invest from his taxes and then budget, uh, U.S. own budgets. And, uh, and the Pomp uh, Secretary Pompeo and President Trump already mentioned that uh, U.S. private funds will be uh, invested to the private North Korea. Private yeah, into yeah, North Korea. Yeah, not the public budget. Yes, right. so, and, then, and then President Trump will guarantee and uh, uh, read the, the process of the denuclearization of the mm -hmm. Korean Peninsula. And in, in exchange for that, uh, he will uh, suggest to, to South Korea and Korea, South Korea and to Japan, mm -hmm. uh, to make money for that uh, compensation and then to infrastructure investment or something like that. Uh, so, but but that's for but that's uh, but let's think about the, the, the that's why why we uh, focus on the denuclearization. Uh, for the rock uh, perspective, mm -hmm. we should uh, achieve the denuclearization and for for the prosperity and peace on the Korean Peninsula. Uh, so we should decide some bold and audacious plan. Mm. Yeah. 
And lastly, but not least, what we saw in Singapore in terms of the North Korean leader being more open and then, you know, addressing some of the uh, global media, and it's, you know, already in front of them. We saw from the Olympics straight up to the, his strolls in Singapore and a bit of a, a small talk with President Trump in between his summit with U.S. leader. Uh, how do you think Kim has crafted his image on the international stage up until yesterday? Yeah, he made a very successful debut on the international stage. Uh, Chairman Kim was the, uh, the best beneficiary of the Russia, Russia summit. Mm -hmm. He made a great debut, and I think he may miss the opportunity to company with his wife, Lee Sol Ju. Mm. Yeah, I, I, I think uh, may, many things that in the upcoming summits would happen. And he will accompany with his wife, and mm -hmm. then he will uh, show the, that he, he is the, the, the normal leader. That he's on, on an equal footing, is just as any yes. other leader in the world. Yes. Thank you so much, Doctor, for your insights today. Thank you.